Uh, I am Carola Vinuesa. I am Professor of Immunology at the Australian National University and head the Pathogens and Immunity Department. And I'm fortunate to be the winner of the first Young Flory Medal. For us, the challenge is to first try to understand the common pathways that are shared between patients with all the different diseases, but then within a particular disease, say, for example, this patient has lupus, we now know that it could actually be one of five different pathways to lupus. And until now, for example, quite a lot of clinical trials have failed because they've treated all patients as one big group and without really trying to categorize them into these subgroups according to pathways. And our hope is that if we can start doing that, if we can start grouping patients according to their molecular causes of disease, we will already have therapies that might be actually much more effective for their individual condition. We, we took a very blind approach to try and find genes that would cause autoantibody auto formation when, when mutated. And in doing that, we came across this gene that was completely unknown then and we started looking into how it worked and we bumped into this particular strange rare subset of T-cells that are now known as T-follicular helper cells. But um, I don't think we actually ever set out to discover these particular cell subtypes and that's a lot of what science is about, you know, finding the opportunity, seeing something and then following it up. It is very important that we support women in science. The problem is not so much in entering science, it's about staying in science. It usually coincides with maternity, that women drop out. And this is because they become less competitive. Science is competitive. The, the mechanisms to support women have to come from several fronts. Here, for example, in the John Curtin, we've had a lot of support from our own institute to, for example, start the first fellowship for women returning from maternity leave. So this is a fellowship, a salary that they don't have to compete externally for. This is only one fellowship. I think we need many more in the country. Thanks to this prize, for example, we are going to start a little initiative to top up or to provide this extra $15,000 to women going on maternity leave. It is important because we can't afford to lose 50% of the brains in science, you know. Today there are nearly as many women, if not more, doing PhDs and going into that early science career. So unless we support those careers at these very critical stages, we will lose our women. We've invested very heavily on these very bright young women. Um, so we have to be more creative and we have to put in some money. It's not going to be cost neutral, unfortunately. Look, it is a huge honor to receive this award. Um, not just because it's the first one, but uh, I mean, Flory is very close to my field, you know. But I think prices recognize the work of also not just one person, but a team. This is a team of 10 investigators. Six of them are um, Australians. There are two from overseas, and then we also have two very prominent bioinformaticians. So we're very fortunate to have put an excellent team of people together. For me, it's a reminder that I've been extremely fortunate, you know, not just um, with an institution that has supported me, but It's not about me, you know, and I can say that without a doubt. If your first PhD students, if your first postdocs are extraordinary, you will do very well. And I have had that, that 